The good part is more rewards, more, more, more Idana coins, right? But at the same time, the CP is very difficult for this area. So if you are not in a high CP level zone, yep, it's not going to be very easy. Uh, you need to complete this story to enter the tournament. So once you complete the story, you go to the Great Desert map and you click on the little button and you can switch from uh, Torme to Immur, depending on what you're going to do. Eclipse is getting a buff on Starheart, Royal Lancing Lunge, Royal Fencing Riposte, Trillion Release, Royal Fencing, and Star Shadow. So there's a, a small buff for the Overheat, Hellraiser, and Flame Buster. There is a uh, Updates in the PvE and PvP side for this as well. In this update, we focus on Void Knight's agility and attack performance, as well as improving her melee combat ability. For Huntress, Blessing of the Wind, extra hit damage has increased by 10%. So Windwalker, Guidance of the Wind, extra critical hit damage has increased from uh, increased by 10%. So, Frostbite for all classes, it's a limited period outfit. Blood Pearls! So, for this update, you can actually excavate while your outfit is moving. So, there's actually a small distance range where you can press, press that excavation button and you can still move on and just go on and stuff. So, the Calphalon Ball coupon will be modified so it will be available until the second week of February. They did buff the HP of King Griffin, so it's gonna last longer. After this update, it's gonna be different, so listen carefully. Contribution is given to first to fifth place guilds according to how much damage was those to King Griffin. There's a match count, and then there's a win rate for each class. So uh, I definitely look forward to our next uh, part here coming soon. Uh, I have noted our adventure feedback for Karkia about how the match was a one combo game. The HP setting was set low and we try to improve the next Karkia season based on this feedback. Also, we noticed a big difference between win rates for classes. We are planning to continuously improve PvP balance for low win rate classes. So what you can do is you just need to farm those little fragments, uh, mysterious room fragments from the Great Desert, from the Field of Valor, and you can exchange them to stuff that can help you with the alien farming. We have these weekly missions as well, and it's all about gaining on Edana's coins, excavating, and use purified water. So basically, if you are new to this, you can choose between a mysterious acorn or a mysterious box. So Amazon is finally here guys. Some people already saw it from Amazon or Twitch. But yes, Prime Gaming and Black Desert Mobile are having a collaboration finally. 